So uh, I've seen some questions on how to build uh, unloading stations and loading stations. More loading stations because what happens is whenever the hoppers fill up uh, and there's a comparator on it, the mine cart will never leave. So like, what's the scenario? I can't think of the scenario, but anyway, there's a chance for the mine cart to get stuck because if this has items okay that's what it is if this has items then it makes the minecart stop and then the mine then it will go whenever it's empty again but the problem is if it doesn't ever get empty then the minecart will never leave therefore you know like if you put in a whole bunch of stuff and it just fills up the hoppers inventory then the minecart will just stay there and the minecart could be full and it still stay there and there's no way to get empty so that could happen if you overfill uh, this chest so anyway uh, I have three ways around that this system works because these hoppers deliver to the hoppers faster this dropper tower is slower is yeah is slower than these hoppers so what happens is this chest gets stopped let me just turn it on and I'll show you it's hard to explain without seeing it okay I built a closed system so this is gonna empty into this side and I'm just gonna speed it up So whenever that's empty, it'll come back and it'll get caught in this loop. And this is orientation important. So it has to be whatever this is, I think east-west. Let me see. I don't remember how to do that. Uh, yep, west, east. It has to be set up like this because this switch here and this switch here need to be set up this way. So this minecart should be gone and it's not. Oh, because this has to be empty. But that usually doesn't happen. It's just because I sped it up the wrong way. So anyway, that'll empty. See this already has more than whatever items. So at this point, on a regular system, the minecart would be stuck. But what's gonna happen when this comes back is it's gonna stop here until this hopper gets back below gets back to empty the way I set it up so it's gonna take a minute but see how it's faster it'll always catch up to the towers and then what happens over here is this comparator checks it to see how full it is and if it's full enough then it will trigger this switch which will send it straight to be unloaded. If it's not full enough, it will go back around and collect whatever the hopper has gathered since it left. So we'll be able to see that here in a second. It's not going to have enough in it so it's not going to go all the way. There it goes. Oh, it does have enough in it. So it's already caught it back to, back up to itself. So this system works. You could probably fill it up. That's the only way really I know of the check is to fill up the chest here and fill up the system so it tries to put more in the chest when this is... Yeah, that would still back it up. So they, yeah, this design could also cause a backup but it's pretty good as long as you don't have too much stuff in the system just watch it again here real quick because I don't want it to have enough to leave the loop so you can see the loop there it goes alright so now it's definitely not going to have enough 
I hope. <laughs> it's gonna get more than I thought it would each time. It's about double the speed, I guess. But it's cut in half because the dropper keeps up with it by half. There it goes. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> well, anyway, if it only got... Let me take some of this out of the system and show you how it works. Whenever it doesn't have as much. Okay, here we go. So it's not going to have enough to go. And it'll circle back around. Why isn't it working? I think this is interfering. Just in case. There we go. So it didn't have enough. And now what it's going to do is just going to make this circle and stop and empty the hopper every time. That's the way it's supposed to work. I probably messed it up when I sped it up. So this system works pretty good whenever the timing's right. But, like I showed, it could have a flaw. I'm just not going to spend the time to test it. I just built a closed system. All this it really isn't necessary. I just did it so I didn't have to mess with it. And it was cool. Um, <laughs> so then I did a timer, <clears throat> excuse me, but this one gets funky because what happens is the shorter this distance is, it starts to mess up the circuit because the circuit needs time to reset. So the, the minecart has to go until now, no, now, here we go. It's on, 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 it's off. So it has to be off right here in order for it to work correctly because it sets it off again when it leaves. So this makes you time out this space. The longer the delay, the bigger the space, you need the more time the minecart needs to be away in order for the circuit to reset. So that gets kind of tricky sometimes to figure out especially if you're trying to deliver a specific amount you know it's hard to control so then you have this way right here this one is pretty good so you have the clock back here and you can set how long you want the delay to be by how many items you put in the clock and you can fill this up and what will happen is that will stop as soon as it gets something it will turn off the clock and it will sit here for this amount of time and then it will leave and it won't stop again pick up more items until this times out but theoretically you should be sending that to your uh, <clears throat> unloading station so it should work out so the timer will only be going if this hopper has items so now that this hopper doesn't have any items the minecart will never stop and to get it to stop again you can put just as little as one item in it it stops but that's the drawback you have to wait for however many items you put back here to leave before this will leave again but it will never get stuck so that is a foolproof design for an unloading station it will never get stuck but there are a couple of drawbacks uh, the timer is just right here the default is set so that it's always on unless this this is not necessary unless this comparator has something it'll turn off this torch which turns off this line and it allows the clock to reset because these items are over here and this will turn on turning this off 
and resetting it whenever these come back. So there is that. And I'll put this down world, download uh, link up so you can get these. These are really the three most interesting. You know, over here, I, I just was experimenting with trying to get multiple inputs into one location using one powered block just to see how many I could get. And yeah, I couldn't figure this out. So feel free to play with that mess. But these three work, and these three work and this is just the clock I think I don't know what I was doing there and this is a item toll booth which I have done before so you can have this world and do whatever you want with it